spine, bring it back. And just start to bring yourself into your space. Expand your senses out. Take notice of the room, the sounds, the temperature, where you touch down to your mat, how we arrived there, a good indication as to which is the rhythm of your breath. Perhaps you find a hand to your belly and another to your chest. Starting to slow your breath, elongate your exhales. Maybe you jai breathing, restricting the back of your throat as you breathe out through your nose. You might now set an intention to your practice, connecting your mental energy to your physical body. Three more breaths. Eventually taking a step down to your feet, having a bend to your knees. Feel your low back center into the ground, press your low back to the ground. And begin to windshield wiper your knees from side to side. The next time your knees go over towards the left, leave them there. Root into your right shoulder. In some maybes, you might extend out your right arm, placing the palm of your right hand down. Maybe lift the outside of your left ankle on top of your right knee, perhaps looking over your right shoulder. Three breaths. And returning into windshield wipering, both feet step down, knees move side to side. And the next time that your knees go all the way to the right, leave them there. This time rooting into your left shoulder, maybe extending out your left hand, maybe looking over your left shoulder, and maybe lifting your right ankle on top of your left knee. Just maybe. Three breaths. Windshield wipering once again, side to side. Pausing into center. Walking your heels a little closer towards your glutes, extending your right leg straight up and high to the sky. Hands clasped in behind your right leg, either above or below your right knee. As you start to draw your right leg in towards your torso, keep a flexion in your right toes, maybe lifting your forehead up towards your right knee. Three breaths. Eventually cross your right ankle above your left knee, figure four, walk your left heel closer towards your left glute, flex your right knee forward with your head rested onto the ground. Maybe stay here or perhaps thread the needle, hands reaching behind your left thigh or even to your left shin, directing your right ankle closer towards your left shoulder. Three breaths. Third breath, return your left foot to the ground and let your right foot left knee combo fall over towards the left side of the room. Root into your right shoulder, maybe look over your right shoulder again. So as twists, you might have your left hand to your right knee, pressing your right knee gently more forward. Three breaths.
half wind removing pose, right knee towards your right shoulder, left knee back up to the sky. So you might extend your right, your left leg forward and bring your right knee closer to your right shoulder as your thigh grazes alongside your rib cage. Perhaps pulsating here, three breath. Stepping back down your right foot. Return your left foot to your right. Center your low back. Now reach your left leg up high to the sky. Straight left leg, flexion of your left toes, hands climb up the length of your left leg, above or below your left knee. Direct your left shin closer towards your torso. Maybe lift your forehead up towards your left knee. Three breaths. Left ankle above your right knee, figure four. Draw your right heel closer towards your glute, flex your left knee forward. Heads rested onto the ground. Thread the needle if you'd like to your right thigh or your shin. Left ankle closer towards your right shoulder. Two more. Right foot returns to the ground. Left foot, right knee falls over towards the right side of the room. Root into your left shoulder, so as twists. Maybe extend out your left arm. Maybe your right hand gently pushes your left knee forward. Three breaths. Half wind removing pose. Left knee towards your left shoulder. Right knee could point high to the sky or maybe extend your right leg forward. Perhaps pulsating your left leg. Full wind removing pose, both knees in towards your torso. So tight now, you might wrap your arms around your shins, perhaps grabbing opposite elbows. Lift your forehead up to your knees, tight squeeze. Then move your heads underneath side your legs and start to rock and roll up and down the length of your spine through from your hips to your shoulders, keeping your chin to your chest so you can find weight to your shoulders. A couple more. All the way through to a tabletop. Cross your ankles, let your hands land forward, walk your knees back underneath your hips. Hands are underneath your shoulders. Let's cow cat, first cow, drop your belly, lift up your chest, your chin, elbows through your rib cage, inhale. Exhale your cat, chin through your chest as you arch your spine, let your elbows bow out slightly. Inhale, come forward, shine your heart. Exhale, arch back. Let's find five. Last one. Tabletop, rooting your hands underneath your shoulders. Right arm extends forward, left foot back, bird dog. Keep your gaze down. Now press further through your left arm to lift your body above your left shoulder, flexing your left toes down. Inhale to reach and extend. Exhale, crunch knee and elbow underneath the body. Breath in, reach. Breath out, crunch. Five. Four, three, two, last one, hold out the extension, keep your gaze down, knit your ribs, flatten your spine, maybe hover your right foot for a bit of a core challenge, three breaths.
Tiger curl, reach your right hand back for the outside of your left foot. As you lift the binds and lift your left knee, roll back your right shoulder. Another breath. Gently release your right hand down to the ground. Step your left foot out away from your left hip as far as you can to the left side of the room. Ardabella Asana, sit your hips back towards your right heel as you walk your hands forward. Let your forehead come through the ground and flex down your left toes. Five breaths. In through a lizard pose. Rooting into your hand, step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Begin to wiggle back your right knee. Be sure your right toes are untucked. Flex out your left knee, walking your left foot out, though keeping your left knee above your left ankle. Let's cow cat, dropping your belly, lifting up your chest, your chin. Take an inhale. Exhale, chin through your chest, arch your spine. Hips move back slightly. Inhale, move forward. Exhale, arch back. Let's find five, four, three, two. Last one, sink into your depth. Whether that be to your forearms, maybe you stay to your hands. Find your point of sensation and just stay to your sensation. You might decide to twist with your left hand to your left knee, looking over your left shoulder, or even by and reaching your left hand back for the outside of your right foot as your right heel comes in towards your right glutes. Five breaths. Eventually, right foot back behind, root your hands down, engage your core to lift your right knee using the strength of your upper body and your core. Your left leg goes straight up to the sky. Three-legged dog, fire hydrant peeing dog, bend your left knee and stack your left hip over your right. Come high to your right tippy toes, drive down your right heel. Again, high right tippy toes, drive down right heel. One more high right tippy toes, left knee in through your chest, Curl it in and slowly step your left foot between your hands, lowering your right knee. Monkey lunge, untuck your right toes. Hands could be to your left thigh or up high to the sky. If your hands are high, spiral your pinkies towards one another, softening your shoulders down the length of your spine, maybe lifting your chin a little bit higher, sinking forward with your hips, low back with your shoulders. Three breaths. Allow your left hand to sink alongside your left hip with your right arm reaching over towards the left. Roll back your right shoulder. Look underneath your right shoulder. Another breath. Right elbow to your left thigh. Twisted lunge. Hands meet through your heart center. Let your left elbow point to the sky. Press off from your right tricep as your left shoulder rolls back. Maybe tuck your right toes, lifting your right knee. Three breaths. Standing splits, looking in front of your left foot. Frame your left foot. Lift up your right leg and draw your forehead towards your left shin as you flex your left, your right toes down and slightly over to the left. Another breath. Stepping your right foot to the back of your mat, drop your right heel 45 degree angle, rise, we have a draw to no one. Shoulders come up over your hips. Deeper bend into your left knee. Press your right side body forward, your left side body back, knit your ribs, spiral your pinkies. Three breaths.
Hands interlace behind your back. Tight grip of your palms. Hands lift off your low back as your shoulders collect. Lift your chest, lift your chin. Trace your gaze behind. Two more breaths. Humble warrior, left shoulder to the inside of your left thigh, firming into your right foot. Bring your gaze down towards your right foot, forehead drops down, hug in your left hip, move your hands off your low back to the front of your head. Two more breaths. Dragonfly twist, right hand comes in front of your left foot. Turn high to your right toes. Lift up your left arm, roll back your left shoulder. Be high to your right toes. Reach back your left arm and trace your gaze to where your left arm is going. Take an inhale. Exhale, wrap your left arm around your left leg to tap your right rib cage. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tap. Five. Four. Three, two, last one, left elbow to your left thigh, drop your right heel, extended side angle, open up your right side, reach your right arm forward and roll back your right shoulder. Find your expression, maybe your left hand to be inside of your left ankle. Three breaths. Both hands come towards the top right corner of the room. Walk out your left foot, an extended lizard flexing out your left knee. Turn high to your right toes, chest over your hands. Right knee could come down if you need. Start to make some circles with your hips, moving in one direction. Then the other. Keeping your hands as they are, rather your right hand, lift up your left arm, hover your right knee. If your knee's down, that's okay. Roll back your left shoulder, inhale. Exhale, weave your left arm underneath your right to so look over your right shoulder as you lift your hips. Inhale to reach, exhale to weave. Five, four, three, Keep that left knee flexed out, two, last one. Hands walk down the right edge of your mat, wide-legged forward fold, pasarita. Widen the stance of your feet, point your toes in, the let your heels flex out. Lift your chest, flat spine, and exhale, sink into your pasarita, A. Eh. Chin through your chest as your forehead starts to Descent underneath your hips. Maybe walk your hands back behind your hips. Five breaths. Hands come back underneath of your gaze. Lift your chest, flatten your spine. Looking forward, pyramid pose, hands to frame your left foot as your left toes now point forward. Step your right foot up and out about a half a foot, maybe a foot, maybe two. Straighter left leg. Lift your chest. Then sink in towards your leg, walking your hands back behind. I'm super shaky, that run was really hard. You might be shaky in this as well. Tight, tight legs. Pressing right hip forward, left hip back. Two more breaths. Both toes back to the top of your mat. Uttanasana, four folds. Arda, halfway lift. Flatten your spine, keep your gaze just beyond your nose as your elbows reach in towards your rib cage. Another breath. Exhale to forward fold. Padahustasana, feet are at hip width distance. Peace finger grab of your big toes. Elbows bend out, chin through your chest. Forehead moves in towards your legs as you lift your hips.
another breath. Planting down your hands, stepping back your knees, tabletop. Tabletop, let's cow cat. Lift your chest, your chin, your gaze, inhale. Exhale, arch. Let's do five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Center spine. Left hand reaches forward, right foot back behind bird dog. Flex your right toe down, keep your gaze down, press further through your right arm, lifting your body above your right shoulder, knit your ribs. Take an inhale as you extend. Exhale, right knee, left elbow tap. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tap. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Extend out, reach, and maybe add a balance challenge of lifting your left foot off the ground. Three breath. The left foot to come back down. Bird or tiger, rather, reaching your left hand to the outside of your right foot as you lift up your right knee, roll back your left shoulder. Gently release your left hand back underneath your left shoulder, stepping your right foot out to the right. Half child's pose, sitting your hips back towards your left heel. Flexing down your right toes and crawling your hands forward as you start to land your chest, your forehead through the ground. Five breath. Last one, rooting into your hand, stepping your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Walking your right foot out a bit and your left knee back. Untuck your left toes. Lift up your chest, elbows into your rib cage. Chin through your chest as you arch your spine. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. We have five. Four, three, two, last one, sink to your depth of your lizard, maybe down to your forearms, flexing out your right knee though it stays above your right ankle, you might lift the inside edge of your right foot. You might twist right hand to your right knee as you look over your right shoulder. You might bind, floating your left heel towards your left glutes and grabbing the outside of your left foot with your right hand. Three more breaths. Both hands to return to the ground. Lifting your left knee, using your core strength, your right leg up high to the sky. Fire hydrant peeing dog, bending into your right knee, stacking your right hip over your left. Square your shoulders, lift up your left heel, drive down your left heel. Again, lift, drive. One more lift to inhale. Exhale, right knee through your chest, slowly step your right foot between your hands. Lowering your left knee through your lunge. Untucking your left toes, monkey lunge, hands either to your right thigh, maybe up high to the sky. Spiral your pinkies, sink forward with your hips, back with your shoulders. Soften your shoulders, maybe lift your chin. Right hand begins to sink alongside your right hip towards the ground, maybe touching the ground or a prop. 
Left hand reaches over to the right. Roll back your left shoulder. Look underneath your left shoulder. Left elbow crosses to your right thigh. Twisting both hands together, pressing through to your sternum level as your right elbow points to the sky. Roll back your right shoulder as you press off from your left tricep, maybe tucking your left toes, lifting your left knee. Leaning forward with your shoulders. Looking down to your right foot. Standing splits, frame your right foot, lift your left leg up high to the sky. Flex your left toe down as you bring your forehead in towards your right shin. Three breath. Slowly stepping your left foot so far back and behind, dropping your left heel 45 degree angle, rise to Bhirabha Drasana one. Warrior one, shoulders up over your hips. Press left hip forward, spiral your pinkies, sink deeper to your right knee. Two more breath. Opposite grip of your hands behind your back. So opposite thumb on top should feel a little bit weird. Lift your hands off your low back, collect your shoulders, lift up your chest, your chin, trace your gaze behind. Two breaths. Humble warrior, right shoulder to the inside of your right thigh. Hugging your right hip over to the left, hands move off your low back and forward. Forehead's moving in towards your firm left foot. Two more breaths. Left hand in front of your right foot, turn high to your left toes, wiggle back your left toes. Dragonfly twist, roll back your right arm. And reach back your right arm, shift your gaze to where your right hand's going. Take an inhale. Exhale, weave your right arm around your right leg to tap your left rib cage. Inhale to reach. Exhale to weave and tap. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one, right elbow to your right thigh, drop your left heel, extended side angle, left hand reaches towards the front of the room. Roll back your left shoulder, find your expression. Maybe your right hand touches to the ground inside your right ankle. Extended lizard, both hands reach to the top left corner of the room. Turn high to your left toes and walk out your right foot. Flex out your right knee, your left knee's there if you need. Bring your chest over your hands and start to make some circles with your hips. Then to the other direction. Rooting into your left hand. Lift up your right arm, roll back your right shoulder, hover your left knee, inhale. Exhale, weave your right arm underneath your left, look over your left shoulder as you lift your hips. Left knee can stay down if you need. Roll back right shoulder, inhale. Exhale, weave. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Both hands down to the ground, walking along the left edge of your mat, wide-legged forward fold, widen the sands of your feet. Turn your toes in and your heels out. Pausarita C this time, interlace your hands behind your back. Tight grip of your palms. Lift them off your low back and over top your head as your forehead digs in between your heels. Five breaths. Coming into your pyramid pose. Hands first, reach to the edge of your mat, halfway lift, flatten your spine. 
and then point your right toes forward, framing your right foot as you step your left foot up and out about a half a foot, maybe more, maybe less. Straight right leg, lift your chest. Perhaps walk your hands back behind. Chin through your chest. Another breath. Forward fold the top of your mat, toes together. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Walk your feet to a hip width distance. Parahastasana, gorilla pose. Lift your feet, slide the palms of your hands underneath the palms of your feet. So much so that your toes are touching your wrists. If you can't quite get your toes to your wrists, take a deeper bend to your knees. Then start to round the weight of your toes in towards your wrists. And lift your hips as you straighten your legs. Your chin curls through your chest, forehead in. Three more breaths. Release your hands. Walk your feet out to a mat with distance. Toes point out, heels in. Malasana yogi squat. Garland pose. Sit your hips deep. Let your elbows open your knees as you lift up your chest. Breathe. Five more. Eventually, for your hands to so plant back behind your hips. Walk your hands back, sit to your hips. Widen the sense of your feet to be mat width distance. Fingertips point out to the sides of the room. Start to windshield wipe your knees from side to side, allowing each knee to touch down. If not, maybe you take a wider sense of your feet. Windshield wipering. Eventually, right shin comes parallel to the front edge of your mat with your right toes pointed forward. Left shin parallel to the left edge of your mat. Left toes point out to the left. Your left knee's just behind your right heel. You might find you're falling a little bit over towards the right. Try to keep your shoulders up over your hips. Lift up your chest for a thoracic extension. Then use your exhales to begin to climb forward into your deer. Five breath. Start to rise back up and walk your hands back behind you. You might walk your hands a little bit behind you and over towards the right or straight behind you if that's available. Leaning back, lift your chin to the sky. Trace your gaze behind you. This might be where you stay, though you might fall all the way onto your elbows. You might even fall all the way onto your shoulders. Your expression, you maybe will lift your right ankle above your left knee. Three more breaths. I like to come out of this by rolling onto my right shoulder, using my right elbow and left hand to crawl back forward. Once you're back forward, you're gonna switch with your left knee to be parallel to the back edge of your mat and your right shin to become parallel to what was the left edge of your mat. Now is the right edge as you face the back of the room. Walk back your right leg. Now you can fold in and just fold over 
into your deer. Though if you want to half pigeon, walk your right foot all the way back and behind. Stabilizing your shoulders over your hips. Lift up with your torso. Take an inhale. And exhale, sink to your expression, your gut, your point of sensation. Maybe onto your forearms. Maybe onto your chest. Let's do 10 breaths. Sitting to your left hip, sliding your right knee up behind your left heel if you weren't already into your deer. You're facing the back side of the room. So now in your deer, we'll fold back into our deer. If you've already been here, it's okay. Just a few more breaths. Then coming back up and walking your hands behind you. Maybe a little off to the left, maybe straight behind. Lift your chest, lift your chin to the sky. Trace your gaze behind you. Some of you might fall to your forearms. Some of you might fall to your shoulders. Some of you might lift your left ankle above your right knee. Two more breaths. Rolling over to your left side, left elbow comes down, right hand comes down. Walk back to the back edge of your mat. And then we'll switch the face forward again to the first deer that you found, your right shin parallel. Now to the front edge of your mat, your left shin back and parallel to the left edge of your mat. You can fold over like so, or maybe extend your left leg straight back and behind, untucking your left toes, walking your hands alongside your hips, lifting up with your chest. Half pigeon. Use your exhales to find your depth. Perhaps your forearms. Maybe your chest. Ten breath. With your last one sliding onto your right hip and sweeping left leg out in front. Bring your right foot into your left leg, into your left thigh. Press down your right knee and square your shoulders over your left leg as you flex your left toes towards you. Start to fold in over your left leg. Each inhale you lift slightly, each exhale you find more depth if it's available. Chin curl to your chest, forehead lands heavy. Hands might grab onto your left foot, though they might not. They might grab somewhere else on your left leg. I like to use the grip of my hands as my elbows bend out to bring my forehead closer towards my left knee. Five more breaths. Ardha Gomukhasana, half cow face pose. Step your right foot to the outside of your left leg. Great, if you can, bring your right heel closer towards your left glute. If it's not there for you, that's okay. 
Your right knee might be closer to your chest, though try to let your right knee fall on top of your left. Whatever might be available, lift up with your chest. Flex your left toes towards you, and again, fold over towards your left leg. Forehead might meet your knee, it might not. You might double stack your fists for your forehead to rest. Five more breaths. Coming out with your right leg towards the top right corner of the room and your left foot into your right leg, flexion of your right toes towards you. Square your shoulders over your right leg, press down your left knee, lift up your torso to inhale and exhale, start to fold over your right leg. Keep the flexion of your right toes. Find what depth is available to you. Each exhale brings you a little bit deeper. Again, you might use the grip of your hands, bring your forehead closer to your right shin. Another breath. Half cow face pose, Ardha Gopanukasana, stepping left foot to the outside of your right leg. Trying to drive your left heel closer towards your right hip, though if that's not available to you, you can keep your left foot pressed down, lift up your torso. Maybe your knees are stacked and fold in over your right leg with your right toes flexed towards you. Eventually to come out facing the front in the seated butterfly, Baddhakanasana, soles of your feet together. Try to have your heels closer to your glutes. Lift up your chest, extension through your thoracic spine, and start to flutter your butterfly wings, releasing into your hip flexors. Peace finger grab of your big toes. Lift up your chest. If you're about to fall in this next pose, be sure your chin always comes through your chest when you roll back. Fall back a little bit to your sit bones, lifting your heels, maybe extending your legs to the top corners of the room. Lift up with your chest. Again, if you're going to fall, that's okay. Your chin's through your chest as you roll back to your shoulders. Three more breaths. Eventually to a happy baby, let your shoulders roll down, press your hips down, hands can have your feet outside, inside edges, big toes, or even behind your knees as you direct your knees down towards the ground, keep your hips low, chins most through your chest so you're longer in the back of your neck, breathe. Soles of your feet together. Let your heels come down. 
Try to drive your heels a little closer to your glutes. If you need, you could slide your feet further away. You might have your hands to the insides of your thighs. They get long in the back of your neck. Let's find 10 breaths. Last breath, your hands take the outsides of your knees. Press your knees together to touch. Recline pyramid, walk your feet up to mat with distance. Curving through all four corners of your feet. Your knees are touching. Root your low back through the ground. And again, begin to windshield wipe your knees from side to side, keeping your feet wide. Eventually your knees fall all the way to the left and they stay there. Okay, rooting in through your right shoulder again, you might reach out your right hand, palm of your right hand down if so. Maybe looking over your right shoulder, maybe your left ankle lifts on top of your right knee. Three more breaths. Turning your left foot to the left edge of your mat, your right foot still to the right edge. Windshield wiper from side to side. Eventually, your knees fall all the way to the right. Maybe extend out your left arm, palm of your left hand down. Maybe you look over your left shoulder. Maybe your right ankle comes on top of your left. Windshield wiper are going to come out, both feet to mat, width's edge. Both knees into your chest. Full wind removing pose, wrapping your arms around your shins, tight squeeze, lift your forehead up to your knees. Exhale to release Savasana. Focus your mind to your body, to your breath, to the release you just brought. Recognize the ability of your mind to create your focus, to create movement, to create energy. Find gratitude and appreciation for self as your mind now focuses to create intention, dedication, and energy for self. Thank you all so much for sharing in the practice tonight, for sharing in energy. The energy, the light within my heart, truly really sees and respects that energy.